Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel everyone, my name is Josh and in this video I'll be discussing this important Bitcoin chart so definitely stick around for that. But first taking a quick look at the 12 hour Bitcoin chart specifically in the VPVR indicator which shows us ranges of support and resistance to pay attention to. And as of right now technically speaking according to this indicator on this time frame the Bitcoin price is simply ranging between support and resistance once again. And this range of support is coming into play at around 38,000 to 39,000 and this range of resistance is coming into play at around $42 to $43,000 per Bitcoin. And while the Bitcoin price is trading within this price range, we are currently seeing mixed signals on the trend-based indicators on the same 12-hour time frame. Because for example, the 12-hour parabolic stop or inverse indicator is currently sitting in the red, which is of course a bearish signal. But if you're looking in the 12-hour Bitcoin RSI, right now this is technically still in an uptrend, forming higher lows and higher highs, which is more bullish than bearish. And if you're looking at the 12-hour Bitcoin MACD, at the time of recording this video this is right now still sitting in the green if you're looking at the histogram but this indicator on this time frame is getting very close to seeing another bearish cross now that bearish cross has not been confirmed because of course we need to see a 12 hour candle close after seeing the bearish cross which once again has not happened just yet but this is something important to pay attention to and for those of you that have been watching my videos over the past few months throughout this entire price range right here you would know that during the time period where we see some mixed signals basically bullish and bearish signals instead of all three of these these indicators lining up in the same direction during those time periods we are simply looking more neutral rather than bullish or bearish at least in the shorter term especially while the bitcoin price is still trading within those support and resistance ranges that i just mentioned and now giving you a quick update on the daily bitcoin chart yesterday's daily candle close closed right above this support line which means the bitcoin price on the daily time frame has not currently confirmed a breakdown at least just yet and the next daily candle close is in around six hours from now at the time of recording this video and so basically if we see a daily candle close below around 39,000 that is how you know we are finally starting to break down here on the daily Bitcoin chart which would obviously be a bearish signal and in that case we do have this range of support which is coming in at around 37 to 38 thousand dollars per Bitcoin and if the Bitcoin price loses that 37 thousand dollar level so basically if we break below this important previous range of support then in that more bearish scenario it is possible the Bitcoin price could retest those January lows but of course we have not had confirmation of that scenario playing out at least just yet and as always if you want to get real-time updates throughout the day make sure to follow me over my twitter and the link to my twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment and just before i get into some other important bitcoin charts something else to consider is the fact that the bitcoin fear and greed index is currently sitting in extreme fear and this is happening while the bitcoin funding rates are very much negative negative. and for any of the beginners out there when the funding rates are negative that is putting an extra pressure on the bitcoin short position positions because basically when the funding rates are negative the short positions the people that are betting on the bitcoin price going down have to pay money usually every eight hours to the bitcoin long positions the people that are betting on the bitcoin price going up so essentially while the bitcoin funding rates are negative it is more expensive to short bitcoin and cheaper to long bitcoin so basically the bitcoin price needs to keep dropping in order for those bitcoin short positions to make money because even if the bitcoin price is just going sideways those short positions are losing losing money every eight hours as they're paying fees to the long positions. And because of that, this is technically more of a bullish signal than a bearish signal because when you close a short position, you essentially have to buy back into the underlying asset. So in Bitcoin's case, if you close a Bitcoin short position, you basically have to buy back into Bitcoin, which is of course bullish for the Bitcoin price. And over here on the three-day Bitcoin chart, honestly, nothing much has happened since yesterday, so I will not waste your time. So for anyone that is new to this channel, and if you want more information about this chart right here, here, definitely watch my last Bitcoin update video that I posted yesterday on the channel. And now zooming all the way out to the weekly Bitcoin chart, this right here is the Bitcoin price against the US dollar, and this chart right here is the DXY, the US dollar currency index on the same weekly time frame. And obviously what we can see right here in the US dollar currency index is a decent rally over the past one year approximately, and of course during that time period, the Bitcoin price has experienced a decent amount of selling pressure, which is almost always the case when the US dollar currency index is in a strong uptrend like what we've seen over the past one year but what we can also see by looking at the last five to six years worth of history is when the US dollar currency index has a significant pump to the upside just above 100 more specifically at around 102 give or take we have previously seen a lot of resistance in that area and basically when the US dollar currency index runs into a lot of resistance and more importantly when the US dollar sees a rejection and heads back down that is usually an extremely bullish signal for the Bitcoin price 
eyes on the much larger timeframes, talking about the weekly Bitcoin charts, for example. In this first example, back in 2017, the Bitcoin price pumped from around $800, give or take, up towards $20,000 before our next significant pullback on the weekly Bitcoin charts. And in this second example, at the start of 2020, the Bitcoin price pumped from around $4,000 to well above $60,000 before our next significant pullback. So these are far from small moves in the Bitcoin price. We're talking about 10 to 20x gains. According to these two previous signals that we have seen over the past five to six years worth of Bitcoin's history and the DXY's history. And obviously, if you're looking at the DXY right now, we're sitting at around 101, getting very close to that historical line of resistance. So this would definitely be an interesting signal to keep an eye on, especially if we see a rejection from around that level of resistance. And of course, I'll be sure to keep you updated on this chart in these videos and in real time over on my Twitter. And before we wrap up this video, you should definitely check out this video, which I was featured in. And I'll leave a link to this video in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. In fact, it'll be the first link in the description and in the pinned comment. It is definitely an entertaining video to watch. And if you're going to leave a comment on the video, feel free to comment that you came over from my channel if you want. But anyway, if you found this video useful or simply enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before we click off, if you're serious about making more money in crypto, whether or not prices are going up or down, then these two videos popping up right here on your screen are definitely for you to watch. But anyway, that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.